Welcome back, I'm back. And, uh, oh, you know what? True form, I did forget to put an announcement out on the Cartridge Club. told someone earlier today that I sometimes forget to do that and so I did that'll be fine okay so yeah <laughs> hi um, I am fully migrated over to my new setup now too so I've got a here I'll show it off a little bit I got a shiny new Dell G3 here so if I do decide to do any uh, PC gaming, I'll have at least a somewhat decent machine to do it with now. My old machine is now my new streaming machine, so I can handle 60 frames per second live streams, which is important for the upcoming PS5. <laughs> Dude, I got a Dell, yep. And the thing is, this, this thing is like a... Um, Quad core i7, uh, and it's got an actual like not not some laptop version like a mobile version of a GeForce card. It's got an actual GeForce 16 GTX 1650 in here. So <laughs> uh, it's it's actually a pretty damn capable machine, and I got it. Uh, I got it's kind of a reconditioned machine, so I got the extra two year. Um, warranty on it, including that, came out to just about a thousand dollars, which, for what I got, is pretty damn amazing. So, definitely uh, enjoying it so far. It's uh, it's a step up from what I had, but what I had is now my streaming machine, and that's a step up because this can handle Envy and Code. The other one could only, the, the one that I had been using could only handle H.624, and it's a 10-year-old laptop, so it just wasn't cutting it for the, uh, um, for 60 frames per second, which is what I really wanted to be able to do. So, um, but yeah, before we get to the games, uh, gooey butter cake soda. So, if you're new here, I start the stream. Oh, there are little flecks in there. No idea what that is. There's like some sort of granular stuff. Weird. Is there actual butter in this? Like, I don't know if this will show up very well on the, on the camera. But there's just like little particles floating around in there. Anyhow. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I start out my streams by uh, sampling interesting craft sodas. Uh, some of them have been really good. Some of them have, like, n not been. This one I'm not looking forward to. However, um, if you use some of your channel points, um, you can tell me which of the sodas that are available in my fridge that I should drink next and uh, no it's not Goldschlager I, I doubt that it's actually uh, like pieces of gold foil there we go but yeah so um, the DOS nerd redeemed this one he enjoys torturing me but I guess I can't really complain since I bought it. <laughs> I won't puke. I've, I've never gotten to the point where something wanted to make me vomit. The only time I ever poured something out was when it smelled like it had alcohol in it. And I am not a fan of alcohol. But even the dirt flavored, even the pickle juice flavored soda... I, I didn't throw up. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, it definitely smells buttery. 
and a little sweet like a cake. Hopefully this is one of those things where even if I don't like it, I can at least acknowledge that they nailed the flavor. So let's give it a shot. Nice and fizzy. The hell is that flavor? Hey, flavor, come back. I need to identify you. What the hell? It has a flavor. But I couldn't tell you what that flavor is. This machine will have eyes, ears, and a voice. It's not bad. I wouldn't say it's, like, a good flavor. But I was expecting more of a buttery, you know, sort of flavor and texture. It's just this vaguely sweet, but not too sweet flavor. So was I. Yeah, I was hoping it wasn't going to be like a greasy, buttery flavor myself. It's actually kind of a light flavor, which surprises me too. I was expecting more of a, a heavier flavor. Maybe not, you know, maybe that's what I should say. Not greasy, but heavy. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's not bad. Um, but like I said, it's more confusing than anything else. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, okay. Headset's connected again, and we've sampled the soda. Let's switch over to uh, Rare Replay. I've had this playing in my ear for the last ten minutes. Fortunately, you have not. <laughs> But uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to get through every one of these and get the trophy for doing um, for first play and first snapshot. So uh, we left off. We did RC Pro Am two last time. We're gonna try Battle Toads Arcade tonight. We'll do this for a little bit, and then uh, we'll switch over to, to uh, Sunset Overdrive. Press A, B, X to select a toad. Oh, okay, I see over on the right-hand side it says it's Ration Pip Hole. Okay. Um, I'll take Rash because he's got the uh, sunglasses. I've never played this in the arcade. Yay! Play the game for the first time. Okay, this is definitely a step up from the NES. <laughs> awesome. I love it when they do stuff like that where... You, like, throw it into the foreground. That was great in uh, Turtles in Time. <laughs> there we go. Oh, nice! That's cool. No, I want to pick it up. There we go. Thank you. Oh, I see. Those were uh, health flies. <laughs> I 
Well, that's that's a bit excessive. Oh, thanks for the hint in the background there. Double tap joystick to run. Oh, already died. No, there we go. So, why did I pick up the middle one? Gotta use what we've got. Ow. Shell shocked. Holy crap, I kicked its head off. Yeah, give me those flies. Yeah, if if this had been out in the arcade when I was a kid, like in the arcade near where I lived when I was a kid, I probably would have enjoyed this too. Um, Cause I, I loved the TMNT arcade game. Nope. Oh. Time's up. Okay, so let's exit the game. Did Rare do that one? I can't remember. All right, kill 15 rats as quickly as possible. That sounds like the easiest one to handle so far. <clears throat> Survive Robo Manus's assault for 15 seconds. Okay. Got 45 seconds to deal with at least 15 rats. Take out Karnath without losing a life. Defeat the both. Okay. Let's uh let's go with this one. Konami, okay. So yeah, it, Yeah, they're the ones that did the uh, um, Ninja Turtles and Simpsons classics. Whoa. Come on. Okay, there's 11, there's 12. These should be the last ones I need. Ah, I was hoping pressing jump and attack at the same time would give me a special attack, but I guess not. There we go. 43.84, stamp awarded. And there's the trophy. Rash action. Oh, yeah. They had that one at the arcade I, I grew up with, too. Uh, I love that. Like, putting together two TVs right next to each other always impressed me. Did you see the one that they had at uh, MGC? where they had um like a projection set up and six arcade sticks uh and the x-men arcade game okay where is it there we go okay on to yes that i'm terrible at fighting games, so...
Reveal your secrets. Hmm. Fair enough. It was right next to the, uh, um, uh, Cosmotron's, uh, championship, for lack of a better way of putting it. No time for diplomacy. Um... God, I don't even remember playing this very much in the arcade. Like, other fighting games I'd at least try, but not so much on this one. Let's go with Fulgore. Okay. Wow, already? Oh, so this is a port of the Nintendo 64 game. Okay. <laughs> I guess. All right. So... I mean, don't need much more than that. Let's uh, see if there are any snapshots here. Are there any? Wait. Am I out of snapshots? Do, 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 do. Yeah. There don't appear to be any more snapshots. At least uh, none of the um, subsequent games have snapshots. Okay. Well, then all we need to do is be uh, sampling games. I've heard good things about Blast Core. We'll, we'll do Blast Core and Banjo-Kazooie, and then we'll switch over. Yeah, this is one I, I I did not play a lot of the Nintendo sixty four because I had a I had a PlayStation at that time. Oh, why are you making me use the analog stick for this? Hey there, round two. Welcome, welcome. Just doing a little bit of rare replay for the trophies before I move on to uh, Sunset Overdrive tonight. Simeon Acres, huh? <laughs> I, I didn't because I... I knew what the word was. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Sorry, eminent domain and all that. There we go. Plenty of time to come back later and finish the job. 
<laughs> yeah, you're doing a great job blowing all that shit up. Oh, okay. The B button goes backwards. Oh, can't blow up that truck, huh? Pass cleared, yay! Oh, okay, that's why. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, let's see if we can blow up all the buildings. I uh, can't take out the uh, train, I guess. TNT crates can be pushed around. They won't be stable for long. Well, let's put it in the pond then. Survivor's free! Yay! Oh, I thought I had everything. Yay, mission complete! Ninety four percent, huh? Okay. Rookie Wrecker. Okay, that's kind of neat. Okay, um, right bumper, correct? Yep. I can never remember what the right bumper is until I also remember that the other thing is called the trigger. I'm more used to R1 and L1, L R2 and L2. See, now that tells me that it's kind of kicking off an entirely new executable, which is interesting. Can't say I ever really played this one before like not even back not even you know since the n64's release Oh, is Banjo-Kazooie the, uh, the game of the month next month? Nice job replacing whatever that texture was with Microsoft Game Studios. <laughs> Um, 
Ja. See now, this one isn't giving me a trophy for the first, uh, for just starting it like all the other games in Rare Replay, probably because it's kicking it off uh, separately. So let's take a look and see if we can get a trophy from here. Now do your thing, Gruntilda. Oh, come on. Games. Banjo. <clears throat> Kazooie. Okay. Just successfully collect any two jiggies. Got it. You can still see the the Nintendo 64ness of the graphics, but it upscaled pretty well. <clears throat> Like, it just looks charmingly simplistic instead of bogglingly primitive. Damn it. Her voice reminded me of, uh... Ping. Uh... Todd's, uh wife on uh, Code Monkeys. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was that all? What is all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Okay. Oh, I can't skip through this. I'll I'll figure it out. Okay, good. Nice little flutter jump. Roll, but if you hold still, he kind of punches. Duck on the triggers. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they did kind of uh, make the right stick move the camera, which is nice. Okay, can't do anything there. Come on. All the way up here. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
Are we supposed to go there right now, or...? Yeah, well... Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Or is this going to be like uh, Ukulele in the Impossible Lair, where you can go to the end, end right away, but you really shouldn't? Hurry, Klungo! It's me, Mr. Jiggy. I'll go find a picture with a piece missing. Okay. Go. Don't don't eat that. It's probably not good to eat there. Nope, can't get up there yet. Then we'll go this way. Mungo's Mountain. <clears throat> no, we'll, we'll definitely go ahead. Yay! Oh, what? I don't just jump right through the painting? Not miss any. Yippee, you saved me. Five Jinjos on each world. Okay. Arg. This underwater steering sucks. But at least I got plenty of time. Banjo's got some good lung capacity. Oh, give it to me. Arg. There we go. Jeez. Anything else? No? Okay, good. Love these dog paddling. Oh. Whoops. Okay. Go away. Leave my honeycombs alone. No. <laughs> oh. 
Oi. Chimpy hungry wants orange now. Feed Chimpy. Oh, I see. Yay! Okay, gotcha. Bling, bling. Yay, I got Jiggy. Okay, cool. I hope that automatically saves. Oh well. <laughs> Classy. All right. Well, that's that's pretty fun, but I think if if I was going to play a collectathon right now, I'd probably just play ukulele. Cuz it still feels like there's stuff to this that hasn't I mean, they did a good job, but uh, some of it is still kind of uh, aged. How'd you get that look from the kid? <laughs> Wow. Nice long guilt trip for quitting the game. Rawr. Okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it actually did go ahead and launch it separately. That's kind of interesting. Um, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to... I just want to eject the damn disc. How do I do that? I'll just push the button on the console then. I I I still am not used to this UI. I and the worst part is is that this is this is basically what you're going to get on the uh on the uh Series S Series X. They went with an if it's not broken don't fix it thing, but it needs fixing. I would have preferred blades to this. All right, give me a few moments. I'm going to go ahead and switch the disc.
Okay. Whoops. Not what I wanted to do. I want to do this. When it lets me. There we go. So uh, I actually did Sunset Overdrive as my uh, first trophy taste test just this last Thursday. So if you want to check that out, there's the link to, uh, to my YouTube channel. And um, basically, uh, I pick a game and I play it until I get my first trophy. And I did that here. I did play it a little bit, a little bit more after that. So um, this is picking up a little bit later, but not that much. Okay. <laughs> what? Did he just, like, punch the camera back? Okay, go to the crash site near the Crown Blades factory. Wait. Okay, here we go. Wait. Street name is in Heisenberg, is it? <laughs> did they did they put frickin' uh um water bears in their soda? <clears throat> Trying to remember what the name name they used in Star Trek Discovery was. Um, but yeah, that's what, that's, that's an extremophile. Okay. Got one bad part. Where's the next? Don't forget the parts. Yeah, I know. Oh, those are. I think I got them all. There's another truck further down the track. Jump on the train tracks and climb to the next stand. I'm trying. Thank you. Yeah. Except the enemies are in the way. There we go. Tardigrades, yes, thank you. They put friggin' tardigrades in the soda. <laughs> big juicy heads.
up. Uh, I I mentioned in the uh, in the video I love the uh, kinetic typography and that they do in this. Out of ammo. Fantastic. And I'm guessing that's not ammo there sitting around. Ah. Yeah, I knew that was going to be bad. Happy to. <laughs> okay, that was pretty awesome. I don't know what I was supposed to do there. Hey there, Infamous. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying it. Still not quite getting the hang of all of this. There we go. That's an accident that didn't need to happen, though. Oh, his mouth is actually moving. That's hilarious. <laughs> Fair enough. And, and that's how I'd prefer to do this. It's just... Kind of got to get the hang of it, I guess. Oh, there's there's one. All right. So part of the problem is that I keep trying to, I wonder if I can change my settings. Because I keep trying to do grind on B and attack on X, and that's backwards. Yeah. Nice. Where's the amp chamber?
Is this it? No. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yay, finish the amps. Because <laughs> you need to learn some shit. Okay, dodge rolling into enemies knocks them down and deals damage. Alright, I'll take that. Okay. So we can have two hero class... Amps. <laughs> Yay for the flaming compensator. Don't think I've got any overdrives yet. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for being so meta. Okay, I was just trying to figure out how to get past that new icon on the bar there. There are different categories of amps. Yeah, I just did that. Select the weapon you want to amplify. Weapon amps can only be equipped on level 2 weapons. Choose a weapon amp to equip to the weapon. Huh. I don't feel any different. Oh yes. Amps only activate when you fight with style. This is the style meter. It's your best friend. Use traversal properties. Okay. Now, go kick some ass. Well, I thought I was done playing Banjo Kazooie. That's a lot of them. I didn't hear what the guy said at the end there. <clears throat> oh, that's OD, not OO. -O. Okay. <laughs> Is that the last one?
<laughs> You're on your own now, don't fuck it up. Now that's fighting with style. Come on back, I got some good news. Right on. This is going to be fun. When this stuff is cooking, I'll have an amp ready for you. The reason we're cooking this shit is to make new amps. Trust me, you want amps now remember soon as this shit starts cooking those od are gonna come running most important thing keep those motherfuckers away from the bats if you fail don't worry this is the awesome apocalypse you always get a do-over <laughs> i set up some barricades and traps around the base but those won't hold for long get out there and keep those od from getting into the base Oh. There we go. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty epic. Yeah, their 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 head and mouth even looks kind of uh, tardigrade-ish. can't remember how to change my weapon. Oh, there we go. I'm trying. Oh, cool. I got a, an achievement for grind kills. out of ammo. You're large. How come I fell off the wire? Damn it.
Get me back up on there. Son of a bitch. Let me back up there. Oh, that'll get me back there quickly enough. Okay, that's a little better. Okay. Do we do it? Okay, good. That was a little too close. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't tell you about the big end of night explosion that wipes everyone out. I didn't want to ruin the surprise. Good news is, it worked. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Got some new amps to work with, I guess. Okay, some amps I can cook up quick. You just gotta bring me the ingredients, and I can give you the amp right away. Just go to the amp chamber and drop off the ingredients to get your amp. You'll find amp ingredients all over the city. Here's your shopping list. Fizzy balloons are filled with hydrogen fluoride, a super acid to help kickstart the reactor. Smelly ass shoes are a potent source of sulfur dioxide. <laughs> nice. This can help isolate the extremophile. Neon signs can give me some radically ionized particles good for organic conduction. Pranksters TP the city. Stupid, but works in our favor. Toilet paper is the perfect catalytic substrate. If you're having trouble finding any of this stuff, Two Hat Jack sells maps with their location. Some amps need a little more time to cook. You'll have to defend the vats while we make those. I'll call you and let you know when I need your help to protect the vats. Be sure to equip gotcha. those amps and let me know how you like them. Okay, so let's check out our new amp. Um, melee swing. Melee attack, shoot out a fireball. I'm good. Bouncing on objects spawn fireballs. Cool. Okay. Hey, Walter, what did you do for a living, you know, before all this? Why does that matter? Okay, so you were a professional meme person. Got it. I used to be <laughs> Cisco security. Used to be? Sounds like you didn't leave on good terms. A couple of years ago, they got rid of me and all my men went totally automated. Yep. Big mistake. Mistake? After a colossal corporate fuck-up, we're the only ones who know the truth. And we're trapped inside a walled-up city full of zombies with no contact to the outside world. I'd say security's doing a pretty good job. Mutants, not zombies. Big difference. Right. We'll get out, and soon. Now hurry your ass up. Yep, working on it.
Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so how do I get the TP? There we go. Okay. Yeah, I kind of see what you mean with uh, trying to not be on the ground because it's safer up here. <clears throat> yeah, that was a pretty good line. <laughs> oh, hi. Who are you? Snipers. Okay, great. Trying to. Why did I die? <laughs> Hey, Walter. They're coming from the other, staying off the ground and constantly moving is the best way to survive. No, stop it. No, go back the other... Thank you. I, I'm, I'm holding down the left uh, trigger and it really doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. <clears throat> I'm, I'm just kind of used to using that to kind of... Um, Zoom in and there's a little bit of a zoom, but not much at all. There's gotta be more, there's one. Anyone else? I mean, he's not saying, hey, good job, come on up here, or anything like that, so. Oh, there we go. No, that's Walter. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's that's my big thing is the controls are kind of what is that it's a glider once i'm over 
not very intuitive. Like, I'm trying to do what it seems like would work, and it's not. A few more adjustments to the launch mechanism. Wrench. Okay, I need you to lift up the carriage a bit more. Like this? Now keep it there while I tighten this. Don't let go. <laughs> Um, I'm going to have to let go. <laughs> Not yet. I have to let go now. No. <laughs> Just in time. Yeah, you see that? You're lucky I was here. I mean, of <laughs> thanks, Dad, who's not my real dad. Thanks, Dad, who's not my real dad. What's that? Chaos Squad, try it. You'll like it. Photo Boots connect you to other players for Chaos Squad, our unique multiplayer mode. Vote on objectives to build up chaos and collect team power ups. I can't tell you how much I don't care about multiplayer mode. Consumerism! Okay. Return to the brewery. Thank you. To the base. Maybe I can help him rebuild the glider. Wish there was a quicker way to get there. Oh, okay. That works. Um so I can set waypoints, but it's not letting me fast travel. Ah, there we go. What the hell? Oh god, it's the three seashells. That's hilarious. Seriously, what were you supposed to do, right? get out of this city just as much as he does hey let's make lemons out of this lemonade he's got to rebuild right hardest part is going to be the propeller oh yeah why don't you head over to the old factory district have a look around i don't want your damn lemons what am i supposed to do with these to find a propeller. The propeller has blades. Guess I'll start at the old Crown Blades factory. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dang it. Use those amps. Trust me, amps can make or break you out there. Yeah. 
All I want is bang, bang, bang. Oh, hey. He didn't have an icon dealy thing on his head, so am I supposed to chase him? <laughs> okay, scary, helpful voice man. Should be another way around. Well, at least I didn't automatically die. But I did automatically grind in back into the water. Lovely. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Damn it. <laughs> no, can't uh can't parkour up that? Alright. Thanks. There we go. Okay. Get away from me. No. It's dangerous. Come back. It's dangerous to go alone. Okay, good. I was hoping I'd find some help. Are they gone yet? Uh, for now. So let me uh break and op break open these uh, money boxes really quick. There we go. you know where I can find a propellant. A propeller? Wait, wait! I have an idea. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. Follow me! <laughs> okay. Follow me! Uh... That doesn't look good. Working on it.
Oh, jeez. Okay, good. Now it's level two. Yeah, it's amazing what you can do when you don't hide in shipping containers all day. <laughs> Pop. You're my hero. So many feelings. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll follow you. Oh my god. We're stuck. We're never going to get out. We're all going to die. Oh my god, you're right. We are going to die. Wait, really? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Figuring this out as I go. Well, in that case, I have played several hundred hours of Choo Choo Simulator. That sounds boring and awful. <laughs> They're breaking through that barricade. Look, here they come. Now we're really gonna die. Out of ammo. There we go. You're like a tornado of death. <laughs> tornadoes, the tornadoes of death. It's got a point. Let's clear. Let's get out of here. It's not like tornadoes need any help being more deadly. <laughs> this was heading to Toys for Terrorists? For one of these. Some of this. Some of those. T and Teddy. And exploding. Chocolate and peanut butter. <laughs> Cute and exploding. Chocolate and peanut butter. <laughs> they lobbing from? Ow. Yes. <laughs> nice portal riff. Yeah, this is usually the time when uh, most games would start slowing down because of all the alpha activity on screen, but uh, this is doing pretty damn good. 
course, Insomniac having practice with the friggin' Ratchet and Clank series knows what they're doing. But I've I've played some piss poor we'll say poorly optimized games on the uh Xbox One since I've gotten it and so I'm pleasantly impressed by this. Toot toot <laughs> I used to think this town was boring. A handsome hobo. You, my friend, just drove a freight train. I did. I did. <laughs> Come on, our safe house is just down the street. Yeah, I, I, I wonder. Like, I'm kind of tempted to go through and see uh, how many games I've got that I haven't touched yet, but I don't know if I'd want to put that much energy into being disappointed. So, yeah. No, I picked this up expressly to do the YouTube video that I just put out on Thursday. They send me out because they're all doing other important stuff back at the base. Important stuff? Like what? I'm not really sure. <laughs> These friends of yours, are they really friends? I like to think so. We were all students at Oxford West College. Oxford West? Isn't that the school that all the rich and famous send their kids to when they have to go into rehab or whatever? <laughs> yeah, but it's a great school. I got a scholarship. The only scholarship. Everybody else paid their way in. Anyway, when the OD attacked campus, only a few of us made it out alive. One thing before we go in. My friends are having a hard time coping, so go easy on them. If we can get everyone working together, we're going to make you an amazing propeller. Okay. You suck at friends, Sam. They're not bad people. You suck at friends. I don't know how to deal with a mutant apocalypse. I know how to make them come around. If only I could get them to listen to me. Maybe you can help me help them. You want me to be your life coach? Yes. What should I do first, coach? Step one, <laughs> never call me coach again. Step two, never do that again. Step three, let's see what your friends need to get upright and start working on that propeller. Yay. You with those preppy kids? My friend Kalis says they're selling clothes and stuff. You go see her if you want to change. Oh, and listen, <laughs> don't be afraid to try new things. You never know what's going to fit until you try it on. On that philosophical note, Bam, I'm out. Bam, I'm out. Okay, hold on for a sec. I want to take a look and see if... Okay, good. I don't know why I didn't have subtitles on. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. What do you call that look? Sure. Okay. No, not the belly shirt. 
And the button-down shirt's kind of cool. That top is so cheap and gaudy. Oh, darling, it's so you. <laughs> no gloves. I'm fine without body art. Um, that's fine too. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, we can buy new stuff. Okay, good. What the hell? Oh, the Marauder helmet is free. Might as well. Whoops, I didn't mean to buy an equip. That's cool. Okay, so I'm going to have to uh, remove that. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and purchase the free stuff here. God. <laughs> yeah, I know. I the well, okay. You know what it reminds me of? The uh Berserker helmet from uh uh Kid Chameleon. Oh darling, you will look magnificent. <laughs> oh good, I can buy some gloves. That's kind of weird. Oh, I like those. Except for the orange hands. That's weird. Okay, now let's take that helmet back off. No, I just customize head, headwear, none. There we go. <laughs> okay, now we're good. Can I play these games? Kind of wanna. So, am I invited to your birthday party, life coach? Uh, Fizzy fortunes. Oh, sure. Why not? Someone you deeply care about will ignore you today. Okay. Energy drink oomphs. Grew to be the most consumed product from a can in history. <laughs> Yo, Daywalker, hi. We dropped the shit out of our bags running for Daywalker. Those bags are like full of totally vital stuff. Get them for us. They're GPS chipped. Getting them should be a cinch for you. Uh, save for later. I can think of worse places to hole up. <laughs> God. Oh, hey, how'd you get here? No ammo. All right. Oh, new weapons, but I don't have enough overcharge. Okay. Every 
everything on that map is guaranteed to be fairly accurate. More or less. More or less. If this wasn't the end of the world, I wouldn't be caught dead by Hi. You're upside down right now. That's Turk. His mom is an award winning physicist, and his dad is an astronaut. He's really good with aerodynamics. Aerodynamics? How convenient. He's also a health nut. He only drinks like the most expensive water on the planet. <laughs> you can't afford it. There's a bottling plant a few blocks away. If you can bring back a couple bottles for him. Wait a sec. You're telling me that the only thing that will make this guy get off his ass is some brand name bottled water? You don't know him like I do. I don't want to know him like you. <laughs> Once we give him what he wants, he'll help make your propeller. If that's all he drinks, he must be, like, parched by now. If you don't buy a fortune, you'll be sorry. Ah, oh, it looked like something. Okay. Gotta go that way, huh? Oh, thank you. Oh, there we go. Okay. What are you, my mother? Wish I was your mother. No, I really don't. No, I really don't. Of worthless, spoiled brats who just happen to be geniuses. I gotta do some stuff for them, then they'll build me a propeller. Nice. Walter's out at the overpass rebuilding the glider. That propeller's gonna help a lot. Don't tell him I'm working on it. I want it to be a surprise. Walter doesn't like surprises. Oh God, the place is flooded. Guess if I want that precious Bora Bora water, I'm gonna have to drain out this nasty stuff first. Okay. Warning. Contamination detected. Facility offline. Awaiting activation of emergency flush system. Time to flush this factory sized toilet. Emergency flush system activated. Just kidding. Just kidding. Detected. Pressure level critical. Release safety valves to prevent complete and utter disaster. <laughs> Open those safety valves. Wait. No. Holy oh, jeez. Obstruction cleared. But you're not done yet. Baby steps. Baby steps. <laughs> Emergency flush system is awaiting activation. Okay. Got that at least. Emergency flush system number two. Awaiting activation. Yeah, hold on, I'm trying to get there. Whee! Okay. Emergency flush system number two. Activated. Hey, <laughs> number two. Once again, obstruction detected. What the hell is going on out there? <laughs> Pressure level critical. Release safety valve. Or die. Yeah, let me go. Let me go. And boop. Thank you. <laughs> Another dude explosion. Obstruction cleared. You are familiar with the rule of three, correct? 
Thanks. Emergency flush system number three. Awaiting activation. Okay. Oops. Where are they all coming from? Emergency flush system offline until you figure out where those ODs are coming from. Oops. I could do with a little less sarcasm, okay? You can dish it out, but you can't take it, huh? <laughs> Screw you! Okay, so they're coming from this direction. Ew! Is that a spawn point or something? No. Well, sort of. Science is awesome. Uh, I was just about to roll into that health. <laughs> is that a Yoshi egg? There we go. Now let's guess, get up on top of it. Oh, I guess I can't. Okay, fine. Where is he? Where's the damn spawner? Oh, they can hang on these things now too, huh? Oh, there he is. Um, Almost got him. Whoops. There we go. Yes. Looks like I just took out the trash. No, wait, wait, I got another one. What a waste of waste. Now I can do better than that. That is <laughs> just a bunch of rubbish. I'm too British. Yeah. Please stop. <laughs> Please stop. There we go. It's not bad, and uh, it's pretty pretty cheap too. Um, I picked it up for like seven bucks. Oh crap! Um. Nope, I screwed that up. Oh, fair enough. Yep. 
There we go. What? There we go. Thud. Yay! Delicious, fresh, vitamin enhanced Bora Bora water now available for delivery. <laughs> My work here is done. I'm out, bitches. Okay, I gotta <laughs> grab that water and get out of here. I gotta grab that soundtrack or sound clip. My work is done. I'm out, bitches. Trying to get out of here. It's just water. Lay off. <laughs> Shit. More OD. Sometimes it's kind of tricky to get it to go where you want it to go. There we go. Come on. Holy shit, I'm gonna die. No, you're not. You got me here. Almost there. There we go. You did it. I mean, no, they're soda monsters. Wait here. Hey, Dirk, I got something I think you might like. Sick. Sick. Fuck, that's good. It's purest water on earth. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, thanks, Sam. You rock. Yeah, sure. Anytime. Bet their division of Fizco. Yeah, I mean, like, um. Oh, what is it? Aquafina is a division of Coca Cola. <laughs> to get a couple other people on board. That's why there's a reason to be cheeky. Stop by and grab one of those spicy margaritas and get some. Okay, who's next? Okay. Hey Margaret. That's Margaret. She's an engineer. I like your hat. Like the highest GPA in the history of the school, but she lost her dog when everything went down and she hasn't been the same since. Finding that dog will go a long way to helping her depression. Hey, whatever gets me that propeller. There's a dog park across the river that she always went to. I would check there first. Hey, no problem. Rest well. Thanks for dropping in, Pico. Boo boo. Hi. I earned a badge for grinding when I wasn't grinding. Badges from playing with style. The more stylish you are, the more badges you will earn. When you earn enough badges, trade them in for But I did get an achievement. Overdrive. Give you boosts in your ability. They are awesome. <laughs> now 
unlock your first overdrive. Okay. The empty slot to equip a new overdrive. All right, good. Got another trophy. Want to unlock more overdrives? You got to earn some badges first. You got it. You unlock and equip overdrives in the character page. Play how you want and you'll get better at the things you enjoy. I like it when games do that. Nice. The dog park is over in Little Tokyo. You'll have to cross the North Bridge to get there. The bridge? No, I can just jump across on these boats. Wish there was a quicker way to get across the water. Timely. Thanks, Tex guy. Boats? Ugh, yikes. Open water scares me. It's just a river, Sam. It's not the Bermuda Triangle. Hey, the Bermuda Triangle is no laughing matter. Hundreds of ships lost, thousands claimed by the sea. Not only is it a hotbed for tropical storms and magnetic anomalies, but I am pretty sure I read about alien abductions and leftover technologies from Atlantis causing ultrasonic... I found the dog. You did? No, I just wanted to save the world from the rest of your story. <laughs> just call me when you find the dog. Okay, I don't want to be taking on a spawner with a magnum. Splody bears seem like a better idea. Oh yeah, let's check out uh, what weapon amps I can do here. Um, X and Bear Force 1. Kills with this weapon have a chance to turn the killed enemy into a TN Teddy? That's kind of sweet. But I think putting it on here would actually be a better idea. Because it's such, uh, so much more of a rapid fire weapon. Okay, now let's give it a try. Okay, where's that spawner? Oh, please don't do that, cat. Yep, I know. Dying sucks. <laughs> that was kind of epic. It's the Bark Park. Okay. Oh, nice shot. You got it? 
Yep, good. Puppy! What's your name? Boo Boo? Come on, Boo Boo. Margaret's looking for you. What the fucking fuck? What the fucking fuck? Maybe forget some of the details about Margaret's robo dog. The thing won't follow me back. He must be in some kind of recovery mode. If it doesn't recognize the voice trying to command it, it will only interact with its favorite toy, Cutie Kitty. Listen, there's a toy store pretty close to you. Just try looking there for the kitty launcher, okay? Or you could just tell Margaret her dog is dead. That dog Good Lord. a lot to her. Fine. Oh, wait, Sam. The dog is following me now. Oh, great. Oh, no, it just committed suicide. Sorry, mission failed. What's next? <laughs> the toy store before giving up, okay? But giving up is my special move. <laughs> Giving up is my special move. Forgot I still had that active. Let's switch that out. Made in Asia. Nice. Hi, Siren. Look what I found. Speaking of cutie kitty. Well, at least I got the cutie kitty. See, got the cutie kitty. Don't worry, just bring that back to the dog. Me. Hi there. Where is it again? There it is. Please work, please. Hi. Bark, bark. You like playing fetch? You want me to throw this thing for you? Hmm. How can I make this fun for me too? How about? Hi. Hey, kitty. Oh no, it's the kitty cannon. Got this stupid dog excited. Now how do I reboot it? Not the best news to break to you, but Margaret has to do that here. Of course she does. Of course she does. Try to get used to how he moves. You have a long trek back. Yeah. Thanks for the reminder. Okay. So in recovery mode he'll only go places he recognizes but margaret always walked boo boo over the north bridge try luring him there who got that kitty who did who got the kitty with it one other thing <laughs> use your guns the dog will sense you as a threat and kill you well, oh jeez at least this will all be over don't worry the dog will defend you as long as you have the cutie kitty try him out and it's actually pretty cool <sighs> Okay, dog. Sam says you're a kid getting too far from Boo Boo. Go get it. 
Where is Boo Boo? There he is. Okay. Holy crap! <laughs> Go get it. Ready for another? All right, Pooch. Let's see if you can make this jump. Go get it. Okay, where did Margaret walk the dog next? Hopefully, it's a place with more things to kill it. Down to the intersection. Oh, God, you can attach it to an enemy. Awesome. Oh, survive the ambush. Got it. Nope, that's not the thing I wanted to grind on. That is. There we go. Who did? Who got the kitty witty? Bark. So corpses. <laughs> Which button is negotiate? Jeez. I took like three quarters of the spawner's health off in one shot. Okay, good. Got the health. Area clear. All right. I'm opening up the doors. Good dog. Boo -boo. I missed you too. Thank you, Sam. You're the best. Sure. Anytime. Yeah, really nice work, Sam. <laughs> Well, I mean, anyone who's watched Doctor Who. Okay, we need to convince just one more person to help. 
Then we can start building your propeller. Hmm. Max is the math wizard at Oxford West. If anyone can calculate a propeller for optimal lift, it's him. I think he's worried about his pants. Maybe you could go check on them. Okay, sounds good. Recall on their latest drink. I'm just saying, I'm sure that can't help the stock price. <laughs> but nobody on the outside knows yet. Most of their stockholders probably think everything is running smoothly. With perhaps the exception of Max's parents. Correct. They're probably dead. But there is a chance they made it into their panic room. Oh, of course they have a panic room. I had an entire panic apartment. It just looked like my normal apartment, but with boarded up windows and me inside, panicking. Isn't there a chance Max's parents turned into OD when everybody else did? It's possible. Be careful when you open that panic room door. Fair point. Nope, wrong way. Damn it. There we go. Oh, that's right. I've got, um... Uh, I think new overdrives. Okay. Cool. Improved fire damage. Town Tower. Could have given me a heads up that this place was crawling with scabs. How would I know? I'm practically a shut in after horror night. Although it makes sense. Once you secure the bottom floor, you have all that living space above you. <laughs> this will work. I need to get high. Er, if only I could find a way to get to the higher floors, is what I meant. <laughs> oh, I see. There we go, right there. Thank you very much. Okay. Now what? <laughs> ah. Boing, boing. Dead end. Mm hmm. Is there another? Harpoon somewhere? Oh, I'm going to get some cash. Yeah, it looks like there's a place to shoot a harpoon at over there. Just got to find it. Ah, here we go. Nope, that didn't do much of anything. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. This is a new area. Okay. And there's the harpoon. <laughs> Your fiery explosive ragdoll death pleased 
my senses. Yes, it did. Oh, I wonder what's over there. Detach. Shoot. Let's check it out. Aha! Nice! Nice! Okay, that was definitely worth the uh, little side jaunt. Okay, now we detach. Fire. Okay. Ooh. Health that I didn't really need, but yay health. Uh, let's uh, explore around the corner really quick here. There we go. Get some cash. Wow. That barricade doesn't look too solid. That's scab ingenuity for you. Sure, I can bring it down somehow. And boom. Uh, can I just behind the barricade? How irresponsible and convenient. Okay. Damn, that didn't work. Can this go like through there? Oh, wait, let's climb up here first. Oh, come on. <laughs> that barricade doesn't look too solid. That's scab ingenuity for you. Sure, I can bring Yeah, I know. Those explosive barrels hidden behind the barricade. How <laughs> irresponsible. And convenient. Thank you. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, well, I got it just as I was dying. So that works. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> hey, Sunset City, drink overcharge. It's refreshing and tasty, and it makes you happy, like me. Um. <laughs> No thanks. Um, okay, I'm getting close to where I can kind of grind on that. Oh, here we go. That works. No, 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 no. Thank you. <laughs> I remember this from Ratchet and Clank too. Everybody else is drinking overcharge. Why aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa! Yeah! Whew. Just 
barely made that. Yes, I'm awesome. Will somebody please cast me in the Jim Cotter remake? <laughs> or you know, Bit Trip Runner. <laughs> Sorta? Fly, fat ass, fly! <laughs> that was cool. Jeez. <laughs> so satisfying. Boom. Master assassin of barricades. Of barricades. <laughs> nope, wrong. There we go. Okay, take that back. Put it there instead. Sweet. This is our turn. Who the fuck is this? Time for some extreme violence. <laughs> that didn't take much. Go get some of that health. There we go. There we go. Now we're reasonably safe. So, of course. Do we have another? Uh... Oh, I see. <laughs> I 
Might, uh, might help if you didn't. Trying to, there we go, jeez. Oh, perfect. Okay, time to check the panic room. Please don't make me find some weird sex. <laughs> That's all it took. Dying words? Let's find out. Security breached. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Look at all the loot. Gotta listen to that voice recording before I head back. Max needs to know what happened to his parents. Did I actually get the voice recording? I mean, gotta grab everything now. Because, I mean, that was not a small amount of loot. Oh, voice recorder is part of it. Okay. Theoretically. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where is that voice recorder? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Found it. If you're hearing this message, then it means you're still alive. Shame. You're <laughs> going to live in the Bahamas where oh, geez. your trust fund so mommy can drink a lot of champagne and daddy doesn't have to get a new job. Anyway, uh, best of luck. By the way, wow. Have you tried drinking our new overcharged drink yet? I think you'd like it. Wow. Well, at least the dick bag left a message. Max is now poor and an orphan. We should probably just tell him his parents were skeletons in a bathtub. Just get back. We'll figure out the least worst thing to tell him. <laughs> right. So, Sam, you're sure your friends are going to listen to you now? Sure, I'm sure. Thanks to you, they think I did all this great stuff for them. You're sort of a modern-day Cyrano de Bergerac. <laughs> I do. referencing the play, not the real Cyrano. Whatever. I'll be whoever you need me to be, as long as I get that propeller. Oh, wait, that's one of those uh, balloon things. There we go. Ah, uh, the old factory district always smelled weird. I know that's stretching it a little bit, but oh well. All that matters here is that I'm having fun. I mean, sure, I hope you guys are enjoying this too, but... <sighs> well, his parents are still alive, but they're major assholes. Right. Money and left him for dead. Yeah. I'll break the news. Yeah! Freedom! Thanks, Sam. 
best news ever. <laughs> what? Okay. He just deleted his mom and dad from his contacts list. <laughs> wow. So Sam, you expect us to believe you went out and did all this stuff by yourself? I think you had a little help. Who gives a shit what you think? You guys just sit on your asses all day while this hero goes out into the city all to get you a bunch of useless shit so you can be happy. Nice. I don't know about you, but that inspires me. Makes me want to be a hero to this hero. I know we can do it. Together. We're going to have to work hard. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Sam forgot one thing. If you don't help him, I'll throw your ass out on the street to fend for yourself. I'm on board with this. Hey, let's get to work. Cool speech. I'm ready. <laughs> Not bad, Sam. You just lacked the threat. That's a pretty good render of a motherboard. Yeah, we got montage music. What is it? It's a three D printer. It's a three D printer. It's gonna make you a new propeller. Hey, I recognized it. Sure. <laughs> no. Mm, but it needs a faster processor. Of course it does. I'll see what I can find. Okay, Let's see Floyd about where to find a new Floyd, processor. Max must have really hated his parents. <laughs> right. Uh, where's the out button? There it is. Okay. Oh yeah, I could probably uh, fast travel. Hold on. Do do do. And then he wakes up back there. That's that's hilarious. So, Floyd, any idea where I can find some high end computer parts? Computer parts? Parts. Nope. You sure? Yep. Oh, no. There's a guy who lives <laughs> in a cell phone tower nearby, and he's got a ton of computers. <laughs> Almost forgot. That's what I thought. I'll check it out. Sounds good. Ooh, Bucky Gloves. Super Bounce. say there's a crazy hillbilly up there who'll shoot anything that moves. Sounds like a walking cliche. Man, we're all walking cliches in somebody's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? Amazing. Okay, whoops, nope, I want that one. There we go. Come on, almost had it. Lol destroy. There we go. Okay. Maybe in the computer? 
Buck National. I'm not from Fisco. What do I look like, an asshole? <laughs> You're not a Fisco asshole. But I'm going to shoot you anyway, just to be sure. Wait, listen, I'm not Fisco. I'm just here to steal computer parts from you. I have to think you were going to <laughs> when I got this here gun. Yeah, I got guns too. Dang you. <laughs> I'm an American. I can use a cocky son of a bitch like you. Looks good on camera. I need footage for my new show. Get out there and show me what you can do. But don't worry about dying. That looks good on camera too. Thanks. If <laughs> I wasn't already creeped out enough by you. Okay. It's <laughs> all over that warehouse down there. If you're as good as you say, we should get some great footage. Sweet. I always wanted to star in the redneck running man. <laughs> Dang it. There we go. Welcome to Buck National versus the Apocalypse. Earn points by killing OD. Okay. 50 points, or 50,000 points at least to get the bronze. How do I bounce kill? Okay. There we go. Grind kills. Easy enough. Got something new for you. Blower OD kills. Oh, okay. Yeah, blowers. Got it. Where are the blowers? You gotta do as I say, or you don't keep nothing from me. Can't give me much to work with here. There we go. I was trying to melee the pain train switch. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Dang it.
Did I get it? Okay, just barely. <laughs> well, that's fine. I'll take it. One sec. Okay. That should get us there. I think. Go. Ah, missed it. There. Ah, dang it. There. That's better. Bucky's perched in blinds all over the city. Cameras ready to roll. Just find them and do what you do. You'll be paid back in kind. Okay. Get off my lawn. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh wait, I can probably just fast tra fast travel here. Fast travel. I am off your lawn. I'm nowhere near your lawn. You don't even have a friggin' lawn. Oh wait, that's right. I don't need to go here, I need to go back to... Here? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Passes out and wakes up where it needs to be. It's hilarious. This game's definitely got style up the wazoo. Get off my lawn. I'd love to see this come to the PlayStation platforms, but you know, at least I get to play it here. Presence all through the city. Awesome. Let's see here. <laughs> hey, if you do find a way out of the city, you'll come back and rescue us, right? Come back? To Sunset City? Why would I? Of course you'll come back and save us. You're you. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I questioned it. <laughs> <clears throat> so this will take a few hours to finish. Huh? I'll let you know when it's done. Copy that, science guy. That sounds like a good thing to do for the end of the night. Oh, Buck National. Oh, I have to collect some more fizzy balloons for that. Okay. These computer parts smell like gunpowder and barbecue sauce. Because they're awesome. Okay, so there's one right there. And there's one right across the street from it, so... Okay, where is it? I should be able to see it. Uh, 
Oh, I am right on top of it. There it is. Ooh, a crate. Money, 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 money. Money. Oh, and there's the other one. Good. Boing. So, we need to figure out how to get up a bit higher. Oh, hi. Oh, maybe I just need to grind. It's the answer to pretty much every problem in this game. Grind more! Nice. How would I even do that? Plus, I can fast travel. <laughs> All right. Yep. I'm setting them up. Can you finish the job for me? Set up a few more hack and slay traps around that barricade. Sounds like a plan. <clears throat> I've been messing around with some trap designs. Just uploaded the plans for a new trap to your phone. Yeah. Hack and slay traps will chop up any OP that get near it. Traps won't hurt you. Don't worry. Well, that's good to know. I just uploaded the fling board trap to your phone. This trap will send enemies back to where they came from. Be sure to point it away from the maze. <laughs> Switch to the fling board trap, then place it. Time you place a trap, it will use up some power. When we're out, we're out. You can always remove traps to get power back. Sounds good. On your track, the OP can destroy them. But then we get some power back. Get yeah. Power back. <laughs> I'm way ahead of you, Floyd. Place as many traps as you can. These traps should be good for tonight, but we'll need better ones soon. I'm no engineer, or am I? Well, there might be other survivors out there who know how to build better traps. So look around when you're out in the city. When you're done placing traps, turn that valve, and we'll get down to business. All right, way to use up all that energy. If you want some energy back, you can just pick up any trap you already placed. Okay. Fine. Yeah, that makes sense, because, like, the amps get powered up by stuff you do, so... Equip amp. Eh, don't have any additional ones yet. All my amps I... <laughs> I can put in there, I've got. I got an overdrive. Yay, increased ammo capacity. Um, style generation of bounces. Style generation of undergrinds. Okay. I think I got enough space for everything I've unlocked.
Cool. Load time. <clears throat> <laughs> Gotta have an entrance. Get out in front of them before they even get into the base. Let's bring out T and Teddy. Yeah, I'm working on it. Ah, oh, crap, I'm out of ammo. Um, come on, there we go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> awesome. Hey, well that wasn't so bad. You might just be getting the hang of this. Come on, get in there. What? What was that? Oh, it's a new sword. Gunker. Kind of feel like this side's going to be fine. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. I got tendi Teddy's back. Yep, good. Almost done. Oh, nice. Perfect shot on that Herker. Got it. Whew. Mission accomplished.
Good job cowering, by the way. <laughs> All right, well, let's take a look at those amps. Dive bomb. A directional shockwave after a dive bomb knocks down and damages enemies. Got a new hero one. Enemies that melee you get knocked back by a force field and are dealt damage. Oh, that would be nice. Achievement unlocked. Amped up. Equip five amps on your character at the same time. Nice. I think I got a new overdrive. Ooh, upgrade overdrive. Yes, please. Okay. Can we amp up the traps? Nope. Do we have any new amps for guns? Yes. Kills with this enemy or with this weapon have a chance of creating an area of effect blast that sets enemies on fire. Hmm. Well, this already is an area of effect blast that sets enemies on fire. Let's uh, beef up the flaming compensator here. And then the TN Teddy will give the um, Electrify thing. There we go. Nope, no new traps. Sweet. Can I, uh... uh this old guy, he's, I, I think his name's Walter. He came in, said he knows you, so I gave him your propeller. <laughs> okay. He looked kind of pissed. Yeah, that's Walter. Hey, kid. Nice try with the propeller, but you fucked it up. Meet me at the overpass. God damn it. Well, I tried. But we're gonna leave it there for tonight. Let's uh, look around and see who we can raid. Whoops. Oh, hell yeah. Fortifier's streaming. Let's go. Uh, let's go raid him. I think. I think it's still the uh, Ready Go Gaming show. Yep. Ready Go Gaming Show episode going on right now, so let's go over there. So thank you very much for dropping by tonight and uh, watching in the future. I'll play more of this tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Central Time. Uh, but uh, until then, rest well when you do. And... Come on. Get that raid started. Okay. So yeah, rest well when you do. And in the meantime, enjoy Fortifier and the Ready Go Gaming Show.